Genetically, we have taken genes from a lot of people. So each one of us has roots, even if we don't know the roots that we have. And these roots, furthermore, go back in time so in some way we have inside of ourselves layers of humanity. What we're actually looking at is the impact of the multi-generational family history. Mothers, but grandmothers, great-grandmothers, and however far we go back. People have been through wars, famine, disasters of all sort. Stress that affected one generation will be played out very exactly in the next generation to the degree that that next generation has understood or not understood it, has dealt with it or not dealt with it. So fundamentally, so long as we're not conscious, we're gonna pass on our stress and our trauma onto our kids. Ignorance is bliss. Part of him that can't tolerate it, that says this is too painful, I don't like it, wins. But we know where he's going back to and it's not, not good looking. I think a lot of people consciously want freedom. They're talking about it all the time. But if we start to see the reasons that people may talk about it, but might not either fight for it, demand it, or even notice when it's chipped away at, because there is a, a, an idea already uh, embedded that says, take care of me, take care of me. See, if you're free, you won't take care of me. I need you to take care of me because I can't handle doing all of this. Civilization is a very thin veneer that everybody wears. You wipe that off, then everybody's functioning like a baby with all these archaic mechanisms, with all those archaic feelings running rampant. Now, the good news is, life in the pod was nothing. You thought this would all kill you at the start, but giving it back or getting rid of it, unplugging from it, will actually give you a life. This may be your first chance to know your whole self, can you imagine? But you're talking to a baby. Uh, you're talking to a little baby who's saying, no, I'll die. You're not talking to an adult. An adult might say, yeah, I get it, doctor. I, I, I'm rooting for you. But a baby says, don't you dare. I'll fight you. In The Matrix, there's a whole scene where there's a battle. And I would say the battle is between Neo and a terrified baby, which is, are you going to be able to change things? See, every time a person wants to change something, the, the baby that's afraid steps in and he says, I can't change this. This saved me. This preserved my life. You want me to change this? You must be crazy. And it's not so polite. That experience is so dreadful that any, anything, any clue, any hint of an analyst approaching that domain will send a number of patients scurrying. Fear of re-experiencing that terrible trauma.